Well, it's a big birthday for Wood County, Ohio this year. 200 years and a local photographer documents that history in a new exhibit at the Wood County Historical Museum. Holly Kirkendall and Taylor Hub Ayers are here to explain. Good morning, ladies. Thanks Hello. for being here today. Thank you so much for having us. Absolutely. So uh, 200 years, mm -hmm. that's kind of a long time. Yes, one of, <laughs> one of 14 counties in Northwest Ohio. Wonderful. So you have an exhibit and we want, of course, we talk about the history, right? Yes. But we also want to, you know, talk about what's going on now, right? Yes, a lot of times history is tied to memory and typically museums will do um, a looking backwards using photography and now we want to look forward because um, young people are invested in the community mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, and young person right here, right? Uh, so uh, you grew up in Perrysburg, right? I did. Grew yep. up in Wood County. Mm -hmm. So you have some memories with Absolutely. your dad driving around the area, right? Yeah, so um, when I was a kid, I um, would be driving around with my dad, and during harvesting season, the combines were out, of course. Sure. And so, um, you know, we would drive around, and he would ask, so what are they growing this year? What are they harvesting this year? Um, and that was one of the inspirations for one of the images that we took with Moser Farms. I think this one here, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you have, you took 6,000 photos. Yeah, just about, <laughs> yep, <laughs> over the past three years. Right, uh, 35 of them will be Yes, on display, 35 right? are on yes. exhibit right now. Yeah, so kind of describe uh, what went into your selection for, I, I guess, snapping these photos and picking the ones for the exhibit. Yeah, so a lot of kind of creating the exhibit and capturing the exhibit was um, finding a, a local landmark and then driving the back roads, kind of figuring out scenes that inspired you mm -hmm. um, and kind of capturing the, the landscape, the architecture, the people, the community of Wood County. I think it's always fun. My husband and I sometimes will take a different route somewhere <laughs> uh, we're going. We go off the beaten path, if you will, just yeah. a little bit, and you're always kind of surprised by what you see. Yeah, it's not just all corn. Time. Right, yep. right. So there's, <laughs> there's a lot to see. Uh, these are beautiful pictures, as we talked about the combine here. Mm -hmm. uh, what is this image of? Yeah, so this is just kind of the natural landscape that I found along um, River Road in Weston, Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, and so it is right off of a... Um, a boat path or a boat um, launch. Launch. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it just you know something that you might that we might see right mm -hmm. as we're yep. driving around. It's a beautiful sight here in Wood County. Yes. So this exhibit is open now. It goes yes. to the end of the year. People can check it out. Yes, right? we are open Monday through Friday from ten to four, and on the weekends from one to four, and close federal holidays. You can go to our website woodcountyhistory.org for more information on um, hours and our events. Mm -hmm. And you're down in BG, right? Yes, we are right at the hub of 75 and Route 6. Mm -hmm. You can see our building from the highway. So what do you want people to learn or experience, I guess, this year with this 200 years? What I think is so interesting is um, seeing how the community is uh, really evolved over time mm -hmm. and how younger people may see their landscape as something very inspirational mm -hmm. and that they are now building memories that they can maybe share in the next 200 years. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, you know some people might say Instagram generation yeah. but I think even with with the younger it, you know it was about filters and all that sort of thing mm -hmm. but we're getting away from that again because mm -hmm. it's really about the true beauty mm -hmm. you know yeah. I think young people especially are seeing that. Yes absolutely. Out there in the open open area Yes. And mm -hmm. Even in the hustle and the bustle of the cities, right? Yes. So you can come experience, you can take a look at thir 35 pictures uh, selected from 6,000. That yep. was probably not an easy process, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. um, you can check these out. Again, it's through the through the end of the year. Come yes. on, pop in, and you said you've got the schedule there on your website. People yes, can visit our website, woodcountyhistory.org. Does it cost anything to get in? Yes, there is an admission at $7 for adults, $6 mm -hmm. for seniors, and um, an admission for children under 12. And if you haven't been to the Wood County Historical Society. There's, there's a ton there that people went, huh? I didn't know, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. we're in the former poorhouse building and actually our For Comfort and Convenience exhibit is still up, which was taken by another local photographer, Jeffrey Hall, also mm -hmm. Taylor's former uh, instructor at BGSU. Yes, very good. Mentor. mentor. Yep. Yes. Very good. All right, folks, we'll come out and see Utopia. Is that what we're calling it? Yes. Mm -hmm. ah, I love that. Very good. Thanks so much for coming today. Thank